right, how's it going everybody? Jason Lavancha here with RealtorVision.com and BlueLavaMedia.com. Today, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add a Zillow 3D home tour to your RTV project. So it's really as simple as this. You're going to, uh, once your tour has been created and it's posted, simply go to the three dots here. You're going to share. You're gonna copy the link. You're gonna move over to your RTV project and you are going to add external media right here. And um, it's really as simple as putting 3D home. And uh, the thing that I like to do is to pause on scene load, display a play button, no. And embed code, you can just drop that like that and hit save. When you're done, you can even upload a custom thumbnail, which we've done here. We've created a custom thumbnail at Blue Lava Media, so it shows the Zillow 3D home. And let me show you what that embed code looks like. So we um, do this. Once it's done, you can view your, we'll just go ahead and view the property website. Down here, doot, 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 doot makes a 3D home tab and it is literally that easy. This one has the interactive floor plan. So the Zillow and the floor plan give it that boost on the portals, which is nice. In the virtual tour, it's gonna do this. So we let it auto play it will stay on if you don't interact with it for 15 seconds. So if you don't interact with this in 15 seconds, it will go ahead and move to the next scene automatically. And that's a setting you can choose to use or you don't have to. Uh, we have that turned on and that's where I showed you right here, 15 seconds or no duration. So it's up to you. Um, if you're going to be playing a tour at a trade show or something and you want it to uh, continue to go, uh, you would do that. Now, obviously, if you're interacting with it, let's go ahead and go back. So we go from this scene to the next scene. As long as you're interacting with it, uh, it will not change on you. So keep that in mind when you are doing this. That's a little strange. Huh? That's really strange. Am I the only one that thinks that that's strange? Anyway, as long as the user's interacting with the tour. So that's up to you, whatever setting you want to use, 15 seconds for autoplay or turn it off. Uh, again, as long as the user's playing around with it, it's going to uh, gonna stay right there. When they're ready to go to the next scene, click the next. Okay, that is as easy as, uh, easy as pie. Those of you that wanted to, uh, I will show you this because really my favorite property website theme right now is the new Monarch theme. We launched three new themes and the Monarch theme, when you view the property website, let me do this for you. When you view that property website with Monarch, oh, I need to hit save. Okay. View it, there we go. Okay, check this out. So with the Monarch theme enabled, the tour is its own box here, and the 3D home tour is its own box. So I kind of like that. All of your embeds become uh, separate boxes versus tabs. So you can kind of pick and choose how you want it. I'll go ahead and leave that on there for Marty and Michelle. That's it. Thank you very much, you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. We appreciate your business, trust, and support. Have a great day.